Are you a conspiracy theorist yet? Would the last person to leave the false reality and become a conspiracy theorist please turn out the lights? After swimming in a sea of propaganda for the last decade or more and being brainwashed into thinking that conspiracy theorists are nutcases, nutjobs, tinfoil hats, and wackos, all terms that were put into your mind by mind-control devices, some Americans are waking up from the stupor and realizing that we've all been had. Everywhere you look, there's evidence of a conspiracy. Some conspiracies are there to control your behavior and make you love your government, kiss policemen, and love being touched by the TSA in your most private parts when you try to board a jet. Some conspiracies are designed to rob you of your life savings. Some conspiracies are designed to tax you to death. Some conspiracies are designed to make you love wars, death, and destruction. Some conspiracies are designed to make you love rat poison in your drinking water and think that fluorine is good for your children's teeth. Some conspiracies are designed to take part of your wages as if you owe it to the private corporation known as the IRS Mafia. Some conspiracies are designed to water down the purchasing power of your earned dollars through fractional reserve banking practices and inflation. Every organization created by any governmental body is yet another conspiracy, and if you check into each, you find the same people behind each one of them. So would the last person to become a conspiracy theorist please turn out the lights on the illusion of freedom, illusion of good government, on fairness, on justice, justified invasions, wars and terrorism committed by anyone other than our government, the secret government which owns those you thought you elected? It's time to turn out that light and turn on the new light, a light of enlightenment understanding and awareness. NASA has lied to us. The Center for Disease Control has lied to us. All the election polls are outrageous lies telling us that the people prefer war to peace and slavery to the Constitution. They tell us that our candidate, Ron Paul, is losing when the people take to the streets this spring, don't be surprised if there is bloodshed, because we are all fed up with our federal government. Congress is obsolete, and the puppet president even said so when he said he doesn't need Congress to enter Libya and start a fourth war. He's going to take us into war by executive order, not with the consent of the people or a vote by Congress. So if Congress is obsolete, why should we continue paying them? We could use that money to extend the unemployment benefits of those who are too poor to drive to the unemployment office to get unemployment, and your government stopped counting them as unemployed and has surmised that they've gotten a job since they don't show up to make an unemployment claim recently. We know that the unemployment rate is at least three times what our lying government is reporting, and we know that it's election time and the lies are getting bigger and bigger. The biggest lie of all is that Ron Paul is not very, very popular with the people. This is like telling us that people want a government takeover of the entire health care industry and that they want our trusted government to have direct access to our veins so they can implant each one of us like cattle and track our every move 24-7. Well, we are not cattle and we don't like slavery. We don't like Nazis either. And we don't enjoy the TSA touching, squeezing, and abusing us at the airports. We don't want cameras on us everywhere we go, while government enjoys privacy and hides everything under the umbrella of national security. We want an end to all programs which do not respect the rights and sovereignty of individuals, and we want a federal government one-tenth the size of the monster which ours has grown to be. We want an end to the evil military programs which disregard human life and act without conscience, creating killing machines of all kinds, human, computer, and technological. If we just stick to the Constitution, many of us would be happy. And we have a candidate who advocates that, and he also wants peace. 
So take your warmonger candidates back to the sewers from where they came and turn in your resignations because we're fed up with you and your federal conspiracies. Yes, we are no longer ashamed to recognize the obvious conspiracies that are apparent not here or there, but everywhere you look. The United Nations is a conspiracy. The IMF is another conspiracy. The World Bank and the Trilateral Commission, the Council on Foreign Relations, the Bank of International Settlements, all the Rockefeller Foundations, all conspiracies. Look into each and what do you find? The same people behind each one of them. We want to see arrests for war crimes and constitutional violations. We want to see the Patriot Act repealed and all the new laws which restrict our constitutional freedoms while expanding the powers of government as well. We won't be satisfied with anything less and we won't quit until we get what we demand. We have the numbers to defeat your one world government plan and we will oppose you in every way and every place that you try to implement your devious and nefarious plan. You will not succeed in enslaving us because each of us is telling ten every day and if you do the math you will see that our word of mouth messages are more powerful than all your media combined. Your media can't reach 10 billion people no matter what you do, but our word of mouth can reach 10 billion if we had so many in the world in just two weeks' time when each tells 10 others. Don't underestimate the power of the people. You slave masters are a tiny minority, and when you see the tide turning, you would try to save your butts, but you will not be treated with mercy, and some of your kind have recognized that the situation is dangerous and they are turning on you like rats on a sinking ship. We know that some of you at the top are scared. We know that your evil empire is crumbling and the people are waking up finally. Your demise is imminent and this is the time for you to make a sensible decision if you have any grasp on reality. If you prefer, you can continue with your plans for mass genocide and nuclear war, and you can suffer the consequences of your foolish choice. Now is the time for you to be sensible and stop this pursuit of slavery, world domination, because billions of people are waking up and opposing you at last. And to the people of the world, I say that peace and prosperity are just around the corner, but only if we defeat those who hold power over the people, and only if we act by speaking out in protest of their actions. You have a job to do, and your own life depends on what you do today. If you can't send out an email to 10, then post on blogs 10 times a day. Copy a good video and set up a channel on YouTube. Post that video and help us get the word out. My videos are now reaching over 500 people a day, and I started out hoping to reach just 10 people a day. So you can do 50 times better if you try. Use my videos. I don't mind. There are no copyrights on my work. My job is the same as yours, to get the word out. Thanks for watching.